Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the Scorpion Velocity textile jacket available at Revzilla.com. So the Velocity is a new jacket from Scorpion for 2016, and this is going to give you three season functionality. What you're getting is a nice waist touring cut to this. You're going to get huge mesh panels, flows a ton of air in the summer months, but it does include a two-in-one thermal waterproof liner that you can put in to ride from the spring and into the fall. And it's really going to be something you're going to want to stay away from in the winter time, unless you live in a more mild climate. But really, we're seeing three season functionality for a traditional East Coast climate with this particular piece. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, Tony on my left hand side is going to be 5'10", 195 pounds with a 42 inch chest. We have him in a large and as you can see it fits him spot on. Nice American cut with this. There's a variety of sizes ranging from small up to 3XL and there's four different colorways. There's an all black version, there is the black and red which Tony is sporting to my left hand side, also a black and a silver and a black and a high vis. So a lot of different colorways for you to choose from and again this is going to be something that's going to aim more for you touring riders out there. Now as far as Scorpion is concerned, we've seen them over the past few years take a more mature step in some of the products that they're coming out with and the Velocity jacket would definitely fall in line with that. Around the $270 price point, you're going to have minimal branding and this is really aimed more at you touring riders out there that are looking for a jacket that's going to give you great functionality in the summer months. With that two-in-one thermal liner in this, you're not going to have to worry about packing additional layers. You can wear that liner as a destination liner when you get to the campsite where you're going. Really a nice all-in-one piece. Now if you want to take a step into the more ADV style in Scorpion's lineup, consider the Yuma jacket. The Yuma jacket is going to take a step away from the touring and give you more some of some of those ADV aspects. Now with the velocity, first and foremost the overall construction, we're going to have three main components coming into play here. You're going to have the main construction on the arm in your impact zones done in a 600D polyester. And then the main panels running down the front is going to be a 600D mesh. It's going to flow a ton of air with that liner out, giving you maximum breathability in the summer months. And then we're going to see on the back of the elbows, it's going to bump up to give you an 840D polyester for just extra beefed up protection in those impact zones. Now starting with the collar and working our way through this, you're going to have single velcro closure at the collar and it's going to be a nice low cut collar with this. If I had to pick anything out with the collar, I would have loved to have seen just a snap back on that to hold the collar in place because I could picture myself in the summer months riding this with a zipper down just a hair and I wouldn't want that collar flapping around. Now as we work our way through the arms on this, you're going to notice a little bit of extra padding at the shoulders and that's going to be on top of Sastec armor. There's CE rated armor in both the shoulders as well as the elbows and as you can see working down Tony's arm on this, you're also going to have reflectivity working its way from the shoulder all the way down to just around the forearm. Now Tony, I'm going to have to hold your hand up there and you're going to see that mesh is going to continue from the chest into the inner arm and it's really going to help to push airflow through into those areas where you tend to overheat. This is going to give you a nice amount of airflow right into your armpit. Now as we work our way down to the closure on the wrist, single velcro closure and my biggest problem here is it's not quite large enough to get in and out of super easily. I would have loved to have seen an extra zipper on this, especially in conjunction with the fact that you do have that thermal liner inside. It is going to be a fleece liner, tends to be a little bit bulky when you're first putting on if you have a ton of different mid layers underneath. Just having that extra zipper there would help with getting it on and off. Now as you work our way down through the front of this, again YKK zips, massive mesh paneling and one of the things here that they did that I really like is the vent system on this. So not only do you have a huge mesh panel running down the front, but they've got a really unique venting system. So we're going to open up this vent right here and it is going to be a waterproof vent which helps to just keep water out if you have that open with that waterproof line underneath. But if we open this up and we peek through, you're going to notice there's actually an extra vent on the liner. So let's say you're riding along, the rain stops, it starts to warm up a little bit, you don't want to pull over and you don't want to take your inner liner out and go through that hassle. What you can do is you can actually unzip a vent located on the inner liner and that's going to give you airflow directly to your body even if you're wearing that liner. Now when we open the liner out on the inside, you're going to notice there's a third zipper on the inside as well. And what I would do if I was riding with this is I would leave that interior zipper completely open and then this way I can just open these two zippers on the fly and get direct venting even with the liner installed. Really something unique that we're seeing from Scorpion with this particular piece. Now you're also going to notice two hand warmer pockets here and in addition 
to the snaps on this, there is gonna be a zipper entry, YKK zips behind that. Really nice, just hand warmer pockets located on this piece. The other thing before we have Tony turn around, just notice the asymmetry coming into play. We talked about Scorpion's maturity as they've started to develop some new pieces in 2016. And there's just a little Scorpion logo across the top of the left shoulder. Really just nice clean lines, not overly branded, but I love the asymmetry that they're designing in this. Tony, go ahead and face away for me. Throw that hand up in the rider position. Now, as you can see, you're gonna have that reflectivity working its way down the back of the arm. Again, those massive vents, those massive mesh panels, just helping the flow air flow through. And you can see on the elbow, it's gonna be that 840D polyester that we were talking about, just to give you that extra protection in the impact zones where you'll need it. Now, along the waist, you do have a waist connection, and Tony's got a slimmer waist. He's got the bigger upper body, he's got bigger biceps, so this is the nice jacket to fit him, but he can ratchet this down to give him more of a sleek line to his actual waist. And again, a little bit lower of a cut to this, gonna be nice for a touring option. You can be able to use this in an upright position or a little bit more of a tuck position. A lot of versatility here for you sport, and tour, sport touring and touring riders out there. Tony, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. Now, starting with the top, working our way down. Again, low slung to the collar. You can see a little bit of that muted branding. The Scorpion does have their S done embossed in the top of this, but nothing crazy, nothing that's gonna be flashy or stand out. You do have that reflectivity working its way down, working its way across, giving you maximum visibility in those nighttime conditions. Again, you touring riders out there are riding in all conditions. As you work your way down, slight drop seat to this, so if you are in a little bit more of a full tuck, does give you great protection from where your pants end and your jacket begins. On the inside there, there is an eight inch connection zipper. You can actually zip it to your existing pants if you are wearing matching Scorpion pants, or if you're just wearing a pair of jeans the way that Tony is, there is a belt loop connection back there as well. Now, one of the things I wanna call out is that it comes with a place holding pad. Don't confuse this as a back protector. It's just a foam pad. First thing you wanna do is you wanna get that, you wanna pull it out, you wanna get rid of it, and you wanna put a real back protector in there. This is gonna be shaped to take the SAS Tech back protector, so that's probably the first upgrade that I'll do to this jacket is put a full-on back protector in this piece before I go out and do anything really aggressive with it. Tony, you can go ahead and face forward for me. I'm gonna have you unzip for me. Again, full YKK zips down the front. And as he opens this up, you're gonna notice that full fleece liner on the inside. And again, two in one, waterproof fleece line. Works as a really great, comfortable destination piece if you're sitting around the campfire at night. Now, the one thing I will say, earlier I mentioned the fleece tends to be a little bit grabby if you're wearing a traditional cotton shirt or a long sleeve cotton shirt. If you're wearing a base layer that's gonna be a little bit more of a polyester blend, it's gonna move a little bit freer along the fleece lining on this. So just keep that in mind when you're layering up underneath it to pick an appropriate base layer for this. Now, if we Unzip this, you're gonna notice as I pull this down, you're gonna have a zip in, zip out liner to this, and you can wear this as a destination piece to where you get where you're going. Now, the outside on this isn't gonna be really finished, so it's not something you'd probably wanna wear around town. It doesn't have a great look to it as far as stylistically speaking, but super functional. I have no problem wearing this around the campfire, and you can see those vents that we were talking about earlier. There is that external vent, and then again, you're gonna have that zipper on the inside as well. So definitely you can fine tune exactly how you want this particular jacket to vent. You're also gonna notice Napoleon pockets that are located on the inside of that liner. So again, if you're wearing this as a destination piece, that's gonna give you a little bit of extra pockets to be able to carry stuff with you. Again, when you get to where you're going or you're around the campfire. Tony, you can go ahead and zip that up for me. Now, I think Scorpion has taken a nice step with something like the Velocity. This is gonna give you a lot of functionality. You're getting three seasons out of this, and there's really a lot of riders out there I could see benefiting from a jacket that's gonna give you this kind of performance. Now, there's a lot of riders out there that are rocking Scorpion gear. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button. Check out what other riders are digging about the Scorpion gear that they're rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate to get us on the phone. Give us a call, 877-792-9455 or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Scorpion Velocity Jacket. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.